What'd you say? It's an amateur hour out here. I can't do an interview. What's up, Leave the Prairie fam? So today, um, we decided that we're gonna do the packing video that we talked about um, for our XOP stands and, and kind of how we're, we're, basically how we're packing them to the woods, uh, getting them in and out of the woods. Pretty easy, pretty efficient, pretty simple. This is gonna be the second video to uh, our little series on our stands and just kind of how we're running everything. A little disclaimer, I'm a tinkerer. I play with my tree stand all the time, literally changing things. I, I might run it one way this time and one way another time. So you see me throughout the season, things are a little bit different. Just feel free to ask about it. It's usually just because I'm trying to come up with a better, or faster, or easier way to do things. So I just wanted to get that out before we did the video. So this is basically how we set up our stands. All right, guys, so we're going to go over how I pack up my XOP tree stand. So for starters, every, every time I tear it down and get it on the ground, I got this paracord that's ran through the seat here. And you'll just hold your seat back, slide that around that six-point bracket, and then now you got a shelf. Put your backpack on. And you, that'll hold quite a bit of weight there. I, mean, I put some pressure on it. Then I got my strap here. It's basically just around it to kind of hold kind of hold the stand but you know, yeah I don't really want to have mine in my pocket or something when I climb up and I'll have to strap it on there before I climb up and it helps and you'll see why I keep it loose here in a minute so I run four sticks and I pack them in twos that way when you're packing it on the tree stand it's packing a lot flatter you don't have all that weight tipping back on you. And so we keep, I keep this loose. That way when the sticks come in and sit in here, they're not raised up and I'm having issues trying to keep them packed together. They just sit nice on the stand. And I got my bungees, but I'm just running corner to corner to hold my sticks down. that with these bungees doing it from the far corners it's tight they're on here tight they don't I, mean, I really got a pull on them to get them to move so basically if you guys weren't running camera gear back you just put your backpack on here or if you don't need a backpack this is it you just head to the tree this is the stand without the backpack Thirty pounds. She's a heavy girl. <laughs> this is the backpack. It's Nick's, not mine. But uh, I packed the backpack because I run camera gear, and I don't always wear all of my layers into the woods. I'll put, you know, my my pack has straps on the bottom, but I'll roll my clothes up like my pants and my jacket and just wear jeans and a sweatshirt or something to the woods that way I don't sweat a bunch on the way in but I'll pack them on the bottom lay my pack just like this under the tree stand with all my gear bow ropes camera arm whatever in there and then run a bungee across hook it up and there you go she ain't going nowhere it. All right, guys. So we're gonna go over mine. Um, I'm honestly not too different from Brandon, except for I'm running a mini, and um, there's a, a few other little things that I've done um, that you kind of have to do because I'm only running three sticks. It's a little bit different, so we're gonna go over that. So my stand, running the Vanish, um, same thing with him. I run the loose strap, basically, so I don't have to store the store the strap somewhere, um, and it just stays on the stand. Um, same thing with the paracord that I run all the way up onto the six-point bracket here. Yeah, and I run my seat up top. No preference. I don't 
I don't think it really matters. Now uh, to my sticks. So first thing that I'm doing is I'm gonna run my mini on there first. And I have that, the bracket system from XOP that's running off of my eye beam clamps down nice and easy. I try to keep my straps pretty clean too. I don't like a messy bunch of straps, but apparently my mini is just not gonna work with me. So then that's just how I'm running my mini and that's not coming off. I mean, it's tight. Then I'm taking my two regular size sticks and pack them in the same exact way Brandon did. And this is how I'm packing my aider. It's on this bottom piece, I'm just rolling it up. I only run one aider, I usually just use it at the bottom just to get that extra little bit of height. Then taking my bungee cords, same exact way Brandon did. Now the only thing that's different here is on the first one, I'm running it above the Versa button on my mini, back down, and then I'm almost pulling it down the way. And that way it actually touches this one um, there's a gap here because I'm only running one and sometimes those will get loose So you kind of got to S shape it and I'll do the other one the opposite way so whenever I come in here Go up to my corner pull it down and then I'll run this one all the way down here and then over And back down Sometimes you kind of got to move it and that way it touches that one too then like um, then they're nice and snug, and it, I mean, it creates a weird X, but it doesn't really matter. And I mean, super solid, super tight. Um, but that little S there is the way that I get them actually locked down there. If you don't do that, um, then you kind of, with the three stick method, it'll, it'll wander on you, or they'll just create a little bit of room for them to move, so. All right, so mine's sitting at just tree stand alone. 24.6 so yours is four pounds heavier or no six pounds heavier yeah, yours is six pounds heavier the one thing that I will say I could always get lighter that's just with the tree stand again that's no um, backpack or camera gear or whatever the one thing that I know for sure is I mean I go to the gym I try to stay pretty healthy so does Brandon so the weight doesn't bother us too much I'm pure functionality. There's definitely lighter tree stands out there. I'll pick functionality over weight any day. 25 pounds, 30 pounds, it doesn't really bother me at all. I'm, you feel the same way, don't you? Yeah. That's pretty much it. If you were just going in with your bow, I mean, that's exactly how I'd run it. But since we, we use a camera gear, this is my pack. Um, I don't carry a whole lot, that's why I kind of have the tiny pack. Camera's usually in my hand. Camera arm will either be in the bag or kind of strapped onto the side somewhere. And then I'm just running it with a with one bungee cord across there. Any extra gear that I need, boom, and that's it. Nice and solid, decently light. It's basically the setup. All right, guys. So that's pretty much our setups and how we're. We're running them into the woods. Um, this is uh, the second video, like we said before. And uh, what else are we gonna do? We got a climbing one. Yeah, climbing. We're gonna do like how we climb up and down the tree. Um, basically how we set up when it's me and him hunting, um, which is pretty complex but simple. Yeah. It's not that bad. And then- um, Do a pack video. Yeah, what's in our packs. We're gonna go through what I'm carrying to the woods, and then what what Paws likes to carry to the woods. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed these videos. I hope they're in informative. And uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, or if you guys have some different ways of doing things or or see some things that uh, you would change or have changed and and seen results, you know, let us know in the comments. Okay. So like always, hunt hard, scout harder. Ciao.